Good morning, boys and girls. I am so excited to be with you this morning. We are um, here with you to do our last chapel um, before we go into our summer break. Uh, I know that we haven't seen a whole bunch of you guys since I guess it was around spring break. So it's going on about two months. Uh, I hope everybody is good. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy our last chapel until, until the fall, okay? So, to kick things off, do you all remember my name? My name is Miss Madison. And uh, what's the first thing that we do when we come in for chapel? That's right, we light our candles. So, if you want to do this with us at home, you can get a candle and you can have your mom and dad help you light it. If not, just participate with me here. And tell me, why do we light our candle? That's right, we, we light this candle to show, to signify that God is with us in this room, that he's with us in your heart, he's with us wherever you go. God is with us, okay? So, let's go ahead and pray. Bow your head. Bow your hearts and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for my family. Keep everybody healthy and strong. Help us to have a great summer filled with fun and water and laughter and good food. We love you so much and we cannot wait until we come back in the fall to be together again. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Good morning, boys and girls. Can y'all recognize me? Do y'all know who I am? It's just me. It's Pastor Kelly. I'm so excited to be here with you guys this morning. And um, I know you got started with Miss Madison, and that was very exciting. And I've got my candle burning, too, so that God is with us. But I wanted to talk to you a minute this morning about masks. Have you all seen a lot of people around town lately with masks on? People wear masks for a lot of different reasons. Sometimes um, in cartoons, you'll see the bad guys wearing a mask because they're trying to hide from the good guys. Um, mine has, you see my mask there? It has superheroes on it. And I kind of dig that. I think that's really cool. But a lot of people are wearing masks right now because they're trying to, trying to keep safe. They're trying to keep away from germs. And um, I got to thinking about masks not long ago. And I thought to myself, you know, there is one thing that we never, ever have to hide from. There's one thing that we never have to put a mask on about. We never have to hide from. And y'all know what that is, don't you? That's right. We never have to hide from God. We never have to hide from Jesus. We don't ever need a mask to keep us away from them. We can just take our masks off and be safe and let God see us for exactly who we are because he made us just like that. And so as you go out into the summer, as you start the summer, can you believe it's time for summer? Um, as you start your summer, um, just think about that. Think about how you can just really be yourself with God without pretending, without um, trying to hide who you are, you just get to be you. And um, we have been so excited that you have been at school with us this year, especially during chapel. And um, many of you are gonna move on to big, big kids school, and that is so exciting. You will be in our prayers, and many of the others of you will be back with us in the fall, and um, we'll see you in chapel then. So just know that you are in our prayers, that we love you, and if you see me out around town in my mask, you be sure to say hello, okay? But remember that you don't need a mask because you don't need a mask with God. You might need a mask other times, but you don't ever need a mask with God. So we love you. Take care and um, blessings on you and your sweet families. 
Well, good morning, boys and girls. Well, say hello, Ralph. He said hello to you. This is a special day. I know you've heard from uh, Miss Madison and you've heard from Kelly. And um, and I just want to say how much I've enjoyed the time I had with you this year as well. I know this last bit of time is, has been a little bit less than than what we expected because we've been at home. But But I'm sure you've been learning and spending time with your family. We're going to miss you over the summer. We know you have a lot of good plans to go. I know that that Ralph is his, his ears are are getting kind of kind of kind of excited about all the things we're going to do this summer as well. But we just want you to have a great summer. Know that we cannot wait to see you next year, and uh, we'll be doing chapel again. I know that God has some great plans for you, and I I know you're going to grow so much in so many ways. Um, so have a safe summer and uh, make sure that you uh, you take care of yourself and, and let, let, um, let your heart grow and your mind grow and your body grow the way God wants it to. Uh, Ralph, are you going to miss everybody? Uh, he is. Now, Ralph, they still wondering if you, are you real? Are you real? Well, I, I don't know if you're real, but you keep saying, are you sure you're, well, okay. He says he's real. So, so Ralph will be here next year. I'll be here next year. And we hope to see you back at school next year. Uh, but before we go, why don't we say a quick prayer, okay? Here we go. Pray with me. Dear God, thank you so much for this past year. Help us to be safe, to grow, to have a great summer. And we give you thanks. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. So from, from Ralph... Say goodbye, Ralph. And for me, I just want to let you know we love you, and we know you're going to have a great summer, and we'll see you next year at school. Hopefully, some of you will graduate, but but, but come by and see us anyway. But bye-bye, y'all. We'll talk soon.